Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we have a little bit of more answers of a update. It's a regular update that pops up in Windows updates uh, regularly on Windows 10, and it always has the same number. So from time to time, if you go back previous months and last year and so on, you would see that it's uploaded, and um, you know you have that update probably once or twice a year. So if you look into your Windows updates in Windows 10, uh, some of you have confirmed, because I hadn't mentioned it, that you've seen it, and a lot of you said, well, I don't see it. And it might actually have to do with a couple of things in Windows 10. So if you go into your update history, in the month of October, last month, you might have had a update for Windows, which is not labeled as a cumulative update. It just says, Update for Windows, KB 517.16. And like I said, if you go back in time and look at updates from previous months, um, here you see in March of this year, there was one, 17.16. So what are they exactly and what do they do? Well, that update is actually uh, has two purposes. It's to usually check for the availability of updating to a new feature update, but also it is capable of displaying information, which means, you know, pop-ups like you, the end of support for Windows 10 is near, things like that, are all coming from that update. So a lot of people are saying, well, now, okay, if I got it, what does it mean? And why do some people don't, you know, some people don't have it? And actually, one of the things that it probably has to do with is if you don't have it, it's possible that your PC is compatible with Windows 11. So it's not preparing itself to display the same messages. So that's one of the things we think about that update. In the case of this machine, it's not capable of moving on to Windows 11. So that update has appeared and possibly to do one thing uh, or two. One, to tell you that end of support once again will be near at some point. It will be triggered to display a message. And we think that it might actually be triggered to display a message of extended support will be available at some point. But I wouldn't be surprised that this KB 517.16 will have another one next year sometime in 2025 that will probably be the one that will display the you know paid extended support availability so they're essentially with this uh update changing things and having a possibility of popping up different messages and different things so that's why it's there so some of you have it from last month some of you probably don't uh, if you don't don't worry that's not a problem remember that when they don't start with cumulative these are independent updates that, you know, whether they are there or not, are not really required. So uh, that's something you uh, could check out here if you want to see. But uh, it probably prepares us for some more pop-ups coming up in Windows 10 about what's happening next in the next few months. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.